Graphical research reports that autonomous vehicle in Asia Pacific region will increase to 24 million units by 2024. Graphical research is a business research firm that provides industry insights, market forecast, and strategic input through granular research and advisory service. And I happen to read a report from such a wonderful institution, which says by 2024, we are going to have 24 million autonomous vehicles in Asia Pacific. Now, similar to graphical research, we have another company called Bloomberg NEF, which is a leading provider of primary research on advanced transport. Bloomberg NEF report claims that shared mobility services will adopt the electric vehicle faster than private owners. And by 2040, around 80% of the global ride-sharing fleet will be attributed to electric vehicles. In India, ride-sharing fleet market is dominated by Ola and Uber. Now, we have seen all these facts. Now, the question is, what does all these facts and developments mean to an electronics engineering uh, student? This means there will be a lot of companies investing in electric vehicle, autonomous vehicle, and because of all this, there will be good job opportunities in this domain. So based on all this development in the industry and government taking the required actions, I'm confident that there will be immense job opportunities in automotive electronics domain. I hope the facts that I have presented here convince each and every participant of the webinar that it is a good idea uh, to consider a career in the field of automotive electronics engineering. So with that said, we have seen uh, some technical concepts uh, in the field of automotive electronics to get a feel what is included in automotive electronics. And then we have also seen what are the career opportunities that we have based on the developments happening across the globe. Now the next question is, how can we capitalize on these opportunities? Now that we have seen there is enough opportunities in this domain, let us also see how to capitalize these opportunities. For that, we need to understand the skill sets required to enter this market domain. The present trend in automotive industry is electric, autonomous, and connected technologies. Hence, one should possess in-depth understanding of electronics behind these technologies. Let us see what skills you need for the same. One must be an expert in embedded system. To truly become an expert in embedded system, you must start with, an, with any 8-bit microcontroller and then gradually progress to 32-bit microcontroller. As you all might know, embedded system is a combination of hardware and software. So a strong C programming skills is a must to ensure a job in automotive domain. Exposure to sensors and transducers and how to integrate these with microcontrollers are sought after skills in industry. I have already mentioned the list of sensors that is available in the car, but don't be you know, uh, kind of anxious or scared by looking at the sheer number of sensors that is available in the car. And the fact that you have to integrate all this, you have to just find out how to integrate three types of output from sensors. You take any sensor, it will have either analog output, digital output, or PWM output. And if you have figured out how to integrate these different outputs with a microcontroller, then you are already a sought after candidate in automotive electronics domain. So as mentioned before, connected car is the talk of the town. Connected car is an application of internet of things, having practical exposure to Raspberry Pi and working on a couple of IoT projects will increase your chances of success in placement. One must strive to gain practical experience in embedded communication protocols like I squared C, SPI, uh, CAN, LIN, and UART. Technical concepts like control systems, electrical machine, RTOS, and signal conditioning circuits must be mastered. So in short, you must possess strong C programming skills, must have exposure to practical concepts of embedded system, have experience working in Raspberry Pi, understand the electrical machines well, and be able to design a signal conditioning circuit based on the requirement. So what is a signal conditioning circuit? Uh, you have embedded system, which is nothing but a microcontroller. And as you all might know, microcontroller can handle only low voltage. Some microcontrollers can handle up to five volts and some microcontrollers can handle up to only 3.3 volts. So when you have to integrate microcontroller to a sensor and ensure the car moves or car performs some action, you have to provide more voltage, but your microcontroller can provide only less voltage as an output. So you need a signal conditioning circuit that can enhance this output and achieve the objective. 
and that is why signal conditioning design experience and knowledge is very important when considering automotive electronics domain. I would like to talk about one more point that is the career path. So if you are a fresher or just graduating from industry or from your university, you will be joining as a graduate trainee for some companies or as a junior embedded software engineer. And from that, your career will start. Typically, you will be judged based on your knowledge in electronics, embedded system, sensors and transducers, and definitely programming and the practical projects that you have designed or worked in your undergraduate engineering or postgraduate engineering. And with that, you'll be judged and you'll be given a job. So the next point I want to discuss is the target companies. So we have covered automotive electronics concept. Now we should also know which companies will be interested to recruit an engineer with such a knowledge and skill sets. So I'll just mention four or five companies starting from Robert Bosch. Robert Bosch is tier one supplier of automotive electronics uh, parts. It is one of the leading companies in the world and it's a German based MNC. And this company will be interested when candidates that have good exposure to automotive electronics. The other companies include Mahindra and Mahindra, Ashok Leyland, Continental and Tata Motors. Now these are your target companies. So with this, I have come to the end of my session.